Hello and welcome everyone, the PC Noob here with another episode of my Banished Let's Play series. We're back here in the city of Mondo and waiting on a couple mines to be completed. We need a lot more people though, unfortunately, and it looks like we're able to support them. We still have 17,000 units of food and the crops are just coming in now. The amount of store clothes has gone down a little bit, a little bit. We've lost quite a bit of people actually, so I think homes are a bit of a necessity just to keep things going. So let's try to plot a couple out in this old section of town. Well, we got one there. That sucks. Let's hope they can get to that. Place a couple more there and then maybe um, stockpile there or something. Just to help people out in the area a little bit. Might have to lay off a couple people. Uh, from mm, the stone cutters, maybe. I'm surprised how quickly we went through all of those nomads. If some more nomads would like to stop on through the city of Mondo and help us out, I think that would be very much appreciated. Definitely yeah, provide you with a warm home and some food, protection from the elements. I hope this turns out for the best. We are firewood as well. Eh, doing all right. This mine is at three percent now. Just about running out. Oh, we're up to five laborers. And this mine is thirty-three percent done. Just need some more stone and finish being built. And this one barely been started. A ton more students I just saw were enrolled. That's awesome news. And we're starting to get more laborers. I'm going to go ahead and place some more homes. Definitely what we need. So if you're a regular to my channel and you watched, I think a couple weeks ago I highlighted a new game, a game that I haven't played on my channel before each day of the week. Still really haven't uh, determined. Uh oh, I'm going to help people out. Still really haven't determined what uh, series I'm going to do as a Let's Play series. Uh, there's a couple games I'm looking at. There's a couple games I'd really like to play that didn't really do so well. So uh, don't know if I'll be playing those. I would really enjoy them. But there are two games I'm looking at. Um, don't Starve being one of them and Goat Simulator being the other one. I'd love to play Goat Simulator just for some fun, just for some giggles and some good moments. Uh, I cleared up a lot of room on my hard drive, my external hard drive, so I'm able to record a lot more. So I might just sit down and play that game for fun and then just piece together the good moments, the funny moments from it. Uh, they've recently put up an update for that game, which like has a new mode or something like that, which is completely ridiculous and funny, so I'd like to try that. Uh, don't starve, I would just pick up where I left off my last video, my first impressions video. Try to survive from the giant tree that was attacking me and go from there. Uh, another series that I want to spend some more time getting to know the game so I can show you guys a little bit better and I will more than likely do a Let's Play series of in the future is Seven Days to Die. Uh, it did really well, got a lot of views, um, not as many likes as the other videos, but it's something that I really, really am interested in playing. Really cool game. Uh, I've been spending a little bit of time just trying to get more familiar with the crafting system. I know how to make some very basic weapons to help defend myself. Um, and maybe now I could actually take over a place and try to defend it as long as I could. So we got a few more homes, at least one more home in here now. Uh, freed up some builders. And we got like 40,000 units of food. So we really, really could use some more nomads, and we'd definitely be able to support them. So feel free to stop on by Mondo if you're interested in contributing and living in a very cool community here. Come on, peoples. Let's come on, Mondos. Mondoians. Let's go. Before freezing. Uh, we'll probably, uh, I'm going to say use some like storage barns on the outskirts more, but I think we're pretty covered. Kind of hard to tell in the middle of winter here, but I think we're pretty covered. <laughs> Let's take a look. Uh, this quarry's up and running. It's 
good news. I think that was up and running last episode. That's not what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on the mines. Come on. Get your stuff together here. This mine is, oh, two-thirds done now. Just waiting to be finished, be built. And this mine, yeah, they're working on it. This has got 2% left, so I think it'll make it through the winter. And then everybody there will be laid off, and hopefully they'll have a new job available at the mine just down the road. Oh, we need some more. Oh, crap, we need even more foresters. Hmm. Did I open up another forester? Forester's Lodge? When did I do that? Don't remember. Oh, well. Uh, I might have to cut back a little bit on the fields. Hey, maybe those new fields are put in. That one, uh, uh, that one's at three. Cut that down to two. That frees up one farmer. One died of starvation. Not cool. Not necessary. In my opinion. But as we expand, we're going to have to help support each new expansion of the city, make sure they have all the access to the resources they're going to need, clothes, tools, food, stuff to keep them going through the winter so they don't have to travel as far. Rain at the moment it seems to be our biggest concern, our, our, our most common death concern is like traveling to get resources. Uh, we have had a few people get crushed by stones and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if that's contributed to lack of education. Uh, we still have lots of capacity in our schools for more students. Oh, is there a fire was low? Yikes. Why are we so low on this? Like, do we just not have enough woodcutters to keep up? I don't understand. I'm gonna have to look at another woodcutter, I guess. I don't understand why we're not able to keep up to the demand of that. We have so many woodcutters, I don't understand. Like, any more would be overkill, but I mean, what we have right now is overkill, so. Well, let's take a look. Uh, nobody's, like, freezing to death, so I don't think it's that big of a concern. Um, why? Oh, we're out of leather. That's not good. That might mean our hunters aren't bringing anything in. Merchant has arrived, so I'm going to slow down time. But I want to check the hunting cabins really quick. All the hunting cabins. Um. Okay. Yeah. No. You're still you're still making lots. Let's see. You are. How the heck did you get beans? <laughs> okay. I'm not even gonna question that. You're still making. Uh, making leather. You're still collecting leather. What? Oh, because the season just started? Did all the other ones reset now? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I couldn't really check. Seems like they're all still working, so I'm not concerned with that. We're just probably burning through the leather a lot quicker than we were before. Um, nothing too, too interesting. I'm going to take these coats, because every little bit will help. Let's trade away some ale. What else can I snag from you? We don't really need tools. I mean, we could possibly use some. Okay, okay, now you want some more. You greedy bogus. Let's see, 40 of those? Trade. I think that's good. That's a decent trade. I'll keep them around. Hopefully we can gather some more ale. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. And I'm not really too, too concerned with gathering new stuff from merchants. I would like another livestock merchant to come through so we can get at least something else in here. I'd love some sheep so we can get the wool for warmer coats. Hopefully maybe they last a little bit longer too. I'm not 100% sure how it works. Now the orchards I put in here uh, a few episodes ago are still not producing anything yet. I was hoping this season they would start producing, but it looks like they won't produce anything until next year. Ah, lost a miner. We caving. Still got 2%, so that's really good. This one's open now. Um, once this one gets shut down and this one is built, I'll probably put this one to coal. Probably use more coal. We have quite a bit of iron. Hmm, what else can we do? 
not much I can do besides just kind of, you know, sit here biting my fingernails and hopefully we can get through this without too much of an issue. I guess I could tell some people to start harvesting trees. Looks like most of the foresters have grown back their luscious forests. Chop that down. Luscious forests. Chop that. Oh, they've already um, been told to chop that down. Might just take them a little while. And this one? Cool. Yeah, chop all that. Cool. So that'll give us a lot of extra wood. Hopefully these woodcutters can get caught up in the amount of firewood we need. Seems to be a bit of an issue. I'd like to also put some more homes in, if possible. Both those homes are in, that's cool. This is pretty, pretty full now. Don't know how many more I can cram in and around here. Doesn't look like I can actually cram any in. Yeah. Could start putting them in across the river. Which is pretty tempting. Yeah, I'm going to put two in there. I uh, don't know how close they are to resources. I mean, that's, they're just on the outskirt of that market. The storage barn's kind of a ways away, so... Uh, might have been a bad decision to put them out here, but we'll leave it as is for now and let them complete it. Oh. Now we're down to two laborers. Yikes. Uh, well, I think all in all, though, things are going fairly well in the city of Mondo. This is episode 90. Ten left after this till the episode 100 milestone. I'm pretty excited about that. At this rate, we're not going to be able to max out the map like I would like to do. Unfortunately, but we'll be able to get a pretty good stronghold going for the basis of a very good future community and there's if you've watched my episodes before in the past I've explained that there is some achievements for like 200 years of existence we're at 105 now so I would like to play this game more I would like to still make some videos for it just not as frequently I'm not sure if I would play this game without you guys maybe I would like to get a little bit more ahead and then showcase some of the stuff I've done, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Might just cut back and take a little bit of a break from this game a bit. Uh, just put out videos, maybe not as frequently, maybe one video a week or so. Just so I can highlight some other games. Oh, I received an award. Awesome. Received an award. Minor. I guess for... Nope, just mining a certain amount of stuff, I guess. <laughs> I'm not too sure. But that's really good. 1% left on this mine before it is done. And we need 15 more miners. And once this one's done, we're going to need... Um, well, once that one's done and this one's done, we won't need any more. But until then, we'll need 15 more. Quote, unquote, need. But, like, everybody who's laid off here will be displaced to this mine. And then this mine eventually. Once we get more people... More, more people, please. Uh, or make babies. Put three homes in and only one home is having babies. That is pathetic. Come on, peoples. Sitting at about 18 and a half thousand units of food. And it's midsummer. We're doing, we're doing pretty good here. I think we're able to sustain any life and any progress, any expansion going forward. I've really enjoyed playing this game and kind of figuring out what it is that makes it work. I got two quarries over here I didn't even realize. We really don't need that extra quarry, but oh well. Oh well. Too much cannot be a bad thing. There's a nice hunting cabin out here. Ooh, I did build a tunnel through here. Neat. We got a forester's lodge out here. Oh, so we can probably start getting whatever stone and stuff is laying around here. Yeah, let's just go like boom. Is there any iron around here? Boom. Yeah, boom. Okay. So we'll start cleaning this up. Any spare or extra laborers I have, which I don't have a lot of, but 
hopefully those numbers will increase soon once these homes get placed in I'll probably start putting more homes in down here even though my frame rates chugging again as I get down here but that's part of the fun I guess seeing what the maximum capacity is for the games I've always always been like that uh, whenever I play a game it's like well let's see how much I can exploit it in this direction you know, what happens if I try and do this always been like that always pushing the boundaries of what the game makers have made trying to find out you know ways they can improve but I should be a game test but really always pick the part games not always I mean when I was younger I've been playing games since I was five years old I've always just had a fascination with video games They've always been a part of my life. Oops, I kicked the mic stand, I apologize. Um, so they've always been a part of my life. And once I got into my teenage years, well, even later teenage years, I kind of not lost interest in video games, but they just didn't have that fascination, that awe factor they had when I was younger. I, I, a lot of games really uh, affected my childhood and like influenced it in a positive way, always in a positive way. Um, but as I got older, I kind of like started picking games apart, realizing all these common themes, much like you do with English literature and any other great pieces of art. You, you kind of find things that are common between this, this art form, this medium, video games, and other things like, you know, Shakespearean plays or English literature or great masterpieces of art, whatever it may be. So I would really kind of sit down and think, well, you know, this is what I've seen in a game, been able to do before. What happens when I do it with this game? And I find out, oh, this hasn't changed, this is broken. Let's see if we can do this with another game. The next game you get, you try it again. See if it's broken or not, too. Always been the way I am. I could definitely put more homes in and around here, I think. Uh, I would love to put a home in there, but I don't think that's going to happen. Ooh, or tunnel would be cool. That would be very interesting. Okay, we're getting a few more people now, so I think I'm gonna go ahead, put some homes in, and stop chatter. Let's see, is that the road? Road, uh, just the one home. Dang it. Okay, we'll put a couple like farmhouses down here. Too. So that's gonna require six more peoples. It only leaves us four, three spare laborers, as I open my mouth, someone's needed. Back up to four, back down to three. I'm not going to reference it anymore. But that's a lot more expansion. Hopefully some more homes, mean more babies, more babies, mean more adults, more laborers. And then we can continue expanding the city limits of Mondo further and further. As we get closer and closer to that episode 100 milestone, which I'm very excited for. Very excited slash sad. I, I don't... Whoa, where are these guys from? Where the heck are you guys? What the? Whoa, why are you guys like traveling so far? That's from this end of town. All the way, oh, you guys are weird. Okay, so we might have to look at hooking everything up in the near future, making a road network that these guys can travel on. And we need a way to connect basically this road all the way over to the cemeteries on the west side of town down here because it seems like people are traveling this way anyways. So we might as well provide them with a little bit of a faster way to move. As you can see when they get on the roads it speeds up compared to this. This is crazy slow and it's detrimental I think to the production that we have here in the city of Mondo. Seems like somebody passed away. I need a couple more farmers. Uh, we need a miner. We're still short. Quite a few people. So come on, let's make some babies. We got a merchant of town. A trade and post with leather, stone, coal, blah blah blah. Let's trade away as much ale as we can and grab all this leather. We'll grab these hide coats too. And <laughs> crap. Let's trade some of that away. 
think everything else is good. Let's do that. Awesome. Helm has become a student. What a cool name, Helm. Anyways, I think I have to wrap this episode up. Let me check. Just to be sure. Apologize for that. I kind of smacked the microphone uh, hat. Anyways, yes, I will have to wrap this episode up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to click that like button. Show some support for this series and let me know you guys want to see some more of it. it. Gives me a lot of incentive to put more episodes out. And more episodes is a good thing for everybody. If you're new to my channel, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe. Stay up to date with all of these videos. Find out what's going on on all my Let's Play series. Hoping to be starting at least one, maybe two new games very soon. Returning to some old series like Skyrim. And hopefully we'll be reaching the episode 100 milestone of Banished very, very soon. Within the next couple weeks, guys. So it's coming. It's it's gonna coming. It's gonna be it's gonna be exciting and kind of a sad moment, but quite a milestone, I think. 100 episodes of one series, especially Banished, when so many people have been having a hard time getting through the earlier stages or just you know getting to a certain point and just dying off. So I think we're doing pretty good here in City of Mundo. And I think everybody should be proud of that for giving their suggestions and giving their input into the game and giving their input into the city of Mondo and how it should be built and how they could contribute to it. So you guys should all feel very proud too that we've all made it to episode 100 together here in the city, the beautiful city of Mondo. So from everybody here, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And until next time, as always, have a good one.